Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And a sincere salutation to all the Akim, pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth with them hopefully let. <clears throat> Coming to another lesson because I was watching some news about these uh, volcanoes and uh, these earthquakes. This is serious time. This is serious times, man. The signs are all around us. So, the news that I was watching, um, Hawaii say it's been over 9,900 earthquakes, man. Okay, just in a just in a couple months, on um, the USGS, which is the United States um, Geological Survey. So um. They've been getting all type of earthquakes, man. I'm talking about, they say 9,900. Okay, they just had a 7.7 .7, um, earthquake. Then you had a 5.8 and a 4.8, or a 5.5 .5 and a 4.8. So, Guatemala just had an earthquake. So, the earthquake, these earthquakes is getting worse by the day. And then you got these volcanoes erupting. Okay, you got a couple different volcanoes, and it's bad. It's bad over in Hawaii. It is bad, man. So the lesson that I'm doing right here, right now, just a short, quick lesson. Lord willing and edifying. The Lord anger is kindled. Okay, his anger is already kindled, man. It's been kindled for a while. But it's on a massive scale now. The Lord's anger is kindled by fire, with fire. And he is showing his works right now. So the first verse I'm going into, this is the first chapter. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 49. And it reads, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? Okay, and it's already kindled, man. Okay, California had fires, burnt down plenty of houses. Okay, a lot of people's houses got destroyed. There's always some fires burning up houses all over the world, man. Okay. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? And they are already kindled, man. It's fires going on, man. Peoples are being destroyed right now from fire. The Lord is not playing no games. Okay? He's not playing no games. This is Luke chapter 17. I'm going to start at verse 28. And it reads, Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Okay? But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Okay? Amen. It rained fire, man. Okay? It rained fire, man. This is no time to plan no games. This is Second Peter chapter two, verse six. And it reads, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Okay, and he's doing that right now, man, with Hawaii, man. 
turning that city to ashes, man. It's a condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Okay, he made Sodom and Gomorrah an example, man, to them. He said, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So, we should look at what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, man, and be like, that's not how we're supposed to be, man. Okay, which is the LGBTQ community, man. Lesbianism. Homosexual. Okay, transgender, bisexual. Hey, he destroyed them, man, for that, okay? For being caught up with man on man and women on women. And you got these transgenders, man. That is wicked, man, okay? Wickedness. It's a and delivered just lot, man. Showing you, man, that lot, rep, lot being delivered out of Sodom and Gomorrah, man, that represents the elect being delivered from out of North America, man. Okay? Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon. This Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 6. And it reads, For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people. This is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah speaking. Let me read this again, man. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 6. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hand stayed on her. Okay? Hey, Amen. He said, the iniquity, man, of the daughter of his people, man, is greater than the sins of Sodom, man, of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Okay? This is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 14. And it reads... I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem. I'm going to read this slow, man. This is Jeremiah 23, verse 14. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen, listen to this, they strengthen also the hands of evildoers. This talking about the false prophets in these churches, man. Okay? They strengthen the hand of evildoers. How do they do that? They say that Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah is all love. Okay? He's coming back to deliver everybody. Everybody can get saved. He's all love and peace. He's coming back with flowers and candy, man. Okay? That none do return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom. And the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Okay. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. Behold. I will feed them with wormwood. And make them drink the water of God. Okay. For, for from the prophets of Jerusalem. Is profaneness gone forth into all the land. So these prophets and these churches. These prophets in these churches, man, these pastors, these bishops, these deacons, they are sending our people to do more wickedness, man. Okay, they are destroying the sheep of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, man. And he said he's going to feed them with wormwood, man. Okay, your body will be consumed with maggots, man. The same way he did Antiochus Epiphany for thinking himself to be a god, man. He made his flesh fall from him, man. Magus was coming out of his body, man. The Lord is not playing no games, man. This is serious. And these people in these churches, man, they is destroying our people, man. These false prophets, man. They're destroying the people. They're not telling them the prophecies 
that's coming to pass, man. They're not telling them why the hurricanes is erupting. They're not telling them, I mean, Salaki, they're not telling them why these volcanoes is erupting. They're not telling them why these earthquakes is happening, man. They are not telling the people the truth. They are not telling you why your sons and daughters are being killed. Because you are not teaching them the ways of the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah. They are not telling you, man, that being a homosexual or a lesbian or a faggot is wicked, man. These prophets and churches is not telling you that. They're telling you that the Lord loves everybody. Whether you sin or whatever you do, He loves you and He's coming back to deliver you, man. These false prophets are going to be destroyed. The Lord said he shall feed them with wormwood. I'm going to read this again, man. This is Luke. I mean, this is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 14. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem, for Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. The Israelites makes up Jerusalem. So Jerusalem ain't over there, over there in Israel. Jerusalem is the people. Which is the Hebrew Israelite, which is the twelve tribes of Israel. They say, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. You strengthen the hand. You telling them to go out and be homosexual. Okay, go out and eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Go out and be a lesbian or a faggot. Okay, go out and kill someone. Okay, go out and sleep with another man's wife, man. Okay, the Lord loves you. It say they strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none do return from his wickedness. So the people ain't gonna return because they they oh the pastor say um even if I do this, the Lord's still gonna save me. Okay, you strengthen the hand of evildoers, man. That none do return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me. As Sodom and the inhabitants thereof of Gomorrah. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. Okay, prophet means to say before, man. So you're gonna be telling the people what is about to come, man. What is happening? What's gonna to happen to them if they don't turn from their wicked ways, man? And the prophets in these pastors, these churches are not doing that, man. What they the Lord call them holly houses, man. Okay? These holly houses, man. He said, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood. Okay? Hey, man. That don't sound good, man. That is a horrible thing. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. That's why it's so important, man, that we see the elect so we can get out of here, man. I'm tired of being next to these wicked people, man. Working at the job next to these wicked people, faggots, demon, demonic people want to eat their meat, bloody raw, bloody raw. Okay, I'm sick of being around these wicked people, man. It's Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. And Babylon, which is North America, man, and Babylon, the girl. Salakia and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, because this is the greatest kingdom on the earth, North America. The beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So, North America excellency, man, is going to be when Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, shall overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Okay? Verse 20. It shall never be inhabited, man. Okay, never. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Okay? It's going to be destroyed, man. Destroyed, man. It is going to be destroyed. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Babylon shall be destroyed, man. It's going to be nothing here. It's going to be uninhabited, man. Forever. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 9. And it reads, 
the show of their countenance do witness against them and declare their sins as Sodom. They hide it not. Okay, you ain't hide nothing, man. Woe unto their souls, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Okay? Read this again, man. The show of their countenance do witness against them. Amen. Because everything in the opening, man, you done took the rainbow that the Lord made a covenant, man, with Noah, man. A covenant that the Lord made with Noah. They have took that and turned it into their logo for the LGBTQ community, man. That is wicked. They show up their countenance, do a witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not, man. They have a gay parade over here in Peak Tel Aviv, man. Every year in Israel, man. They have a gay parade, which is supposed to be the Holy Land, man. You got gay parades going all around North America, man. Every city, man. Okay? How is... Man, listen, man. The Lord got a fire kindled, man. It say they had it not. Woe unto their souls, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Okay? Man, this is Solomon Gomorrah all over again, man. This is spiritual Egypt, man, which means bondage, man. This is where we had to serve out our slavery at. So this is the new Egypt, man. This is the new Solomon and Gomorrah, man. This is um Second Peter. Chapter 3, I'm going to start at verse 10. Hey, man, the Lord coming, man, man, it's going to be bad, man. And it's already happening. Earthquakes in Guatemala, man. Okay? Earthquakes in other places, in diverse places, man. There's never been. It's been earthquakes everywhere, man. All around the country, man. Second Peter chapter three, start at verse ten. But but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works thereof therein shall be burnt up. It say the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Man, that means these buildings. These strong buildings that they built, man, everything going to be destroyed, man. Everything. You understand that? Everything shall be burnt up, man. Going to a precept. This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. And the day that cometh shall burn up, saith the Lord of hosts. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, shall host, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, everything is going to be destroyed. If you're not of the elect and getting being up out of here, no cherish, you are going to be destroyed, man. It shall leave neither root nor branch, man. Going back to Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 3. Verse 10 again, because that was a priest of Malachi 4 and 1. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night unto all you dumbest, man. That's what Matthew 24 to 37 chapter talking about as it was in the days of Noah and Luke chapter 17 talking about man okay 28 through 30 man as it was in the days of noah man so it said but the day of the lord will come as a thief of the night in which the heavens talking about here on earth man shall pass away with a great noise and that's from those missiles man them icbms man okay and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein will be burnt up verse 11 Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, okay, by fervent heat, man. 
what manner of person are ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness, man? You supposed to be only thing supposed to be on your mind is truth, man. Okay, learning these scriptures, man, and teaching these scriptures, man. Lord willing, making you a part of the elect, man, through faith and works. Everything else doesn't matter with the Most High and His Son, man. Looking for and hasting, okay? We hasted, man, until the coming of the day of God. The ring the heaven being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. When they say heaven, I keep telling you, this is talking about earth, man. We know the heavens where the most high Yahweh ain't on ain't burning. So what are they talking about, man? This is talking about the heaven here on earth, man. Okay? It's a Wherein the heaven being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay? Hey, this is Jeremiah 49, verse 18. And it reads, As in the overdoor Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, while Yahweh shot, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it, man. It's talking about North America, it's going to be destroyed, man. Okay? And the Lord has already set that kindle up, man. That fire is already going on around the world, man. This is Jude chapter 1, verse 7. And it reads, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going out to strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Okay? Listen, man. The Lord ain't playing no games, man. And if you think it's a game, man, okay, stay doing your wickedness. Once again, Luke 17, going back to 28, read it again. Okay, I'm going to start at verse 27. Verse 26, as it was, this is Luke chapter 17, verse 26. As it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage unto the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came. And this is the same story in Matthew 24, verse 37. And destroyed them all. Likewise, also, it was in the days of Lot. Okay, this is referring to right now, man. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Okay, it's Tama Esau. Okay, Job 9 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. What they do, man, as I tell you in um, Malachi 1 and 4 about they return to build the deaths in the places. They did that, they built it, man. Okay? Now, on the whole, it's talking about they eat, they drink, they bought, they sold. That's party, shopping, having a good time. Okay? Having a good time here in North America, man. They planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus it be in the day. When the Son of Man is revealed, okay? This ain't no time you play no games, man. The Lord has his fire already kindled on earth, man. The Lord's fire has already been kindled, man. I'm going to read this again. I'm going to end it on this verse. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 49. And it reads, once again, 
I am come. This is in the red, man. Okay? These are the red letters. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? And it's already kindled, man. Okay? It's already kindled, man. Lord ain't playing no games, man. This is the time to get yourself together. You got a grace period, man. When you read Ephesians 2 and 8, man, it tell you that. Okay? Ephesians 2 and 8 tell you that you got a grace period. Romans 12 and 2 tell you to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's being born again in this truth, man. Not by baptized by water, man, as these wicked churches tell you. It's by being transformed through the renewing of your mind, man. Putting away that Roman Catholicism that you were taught in old Baptist churches. Okay? To this truth, man. The Lord say, I am come to send fire on earth, man. And it's already kindling, man. So just looking at the news, man, with these 9,900 earthquakes, okay, and these volcanoes erupting, man. Hey, man, peoples are dying. I'm talking about at a rapid rate, man. Not because of, I ain't telling my bullets. I'm talking about they dying from catastrophic events that the Lord is pushing, man, through his anger, okay? And it's finna get worse and worse by the day, man. Okay, I did a lesson earlier telling you about Matthew 24, man. But it shall be wars, rumors of wars, nations against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, man. Earthquakes and pestilences, man. Famines. Okay? Earthquakes in diverse places, man. It is happening. And our people not even paying attention because they're watching sports, man. They worry about watching uh, LeBron. And Stephen Curry, man. They went about watching um NFL, man, and soccer and hockey. Okay? And the Atlanta Housewives, man. Nothing. Things that's gonna get them destroyed, man. Gonna cause them to be thrown in that lake of fire, man. Starting with them ICBMs, man. Okay? Race riots, man. Okay, I read to you about the uproars, man. This is happening now, man. People's is up going everywhere. Okay? Diseases is happening at uh at an all-time high with diseases, man. CDC, man. Okay? They putting diseases out to kill you, Jakes. So, Lord's willing, man, this be edifying. I wanna say I pray to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, the Kapodash. Double honor to the apostle elders, great millstone who rule well, and a sincere sight taste to all the oxen pushing this truth, trying to wake up these knuckleheads throughout the four winds of the earth. Shalom.